do. Hey. We're ready to learn. Exactly. So come along, adventure starts right here. We find wisdom in God's word. Yeah! Here we go, we're ready to take flight. Going on adventures day and night. Fly or run, it's begun. So now a glory's fun. Who? Last time on The Egg. Do you know anything about our new teacher? No. Well, I know the students from last year's class, and they all said he is the best teacher they ever had. Good morning, class. Good morning, morning Professor, Professor Alistair. Alistair. Oh, I saw your help wanted ad in eggs list. And let me see, your name is Gail? <gasps> yes. Gail the snail. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Professor Alistair's Easter egg extravaganza. <laughs> but you also need to find the Easter story eggs. So when the kids put their eggs in their basket, yeah, I sneak up behind them, yeah, and very quietly, yeah, snatch the eggs and run away giggling. <laughs> Oh, look at those eggs. So colorful, so chocolatey, so special. Ooh, I must have them. Hey, look. This one is filled with jelly beans. Ooh. You can also use jelly beans to tell the Easter story. Talking jelly beans? No, Hootie. Look and listen. Yellow is for the sun that glowed. Red is for his blood that flowed. Green is for the palms they wave. Pink for the sweet love he gave. Orange is for the end of day. Black is for our sinful ways. Blue is for the heavens above. White is for his endless love. Hey, where are all the jelly beans? Hootie! Mm -hmm. Your poem was delicious. Hey, are we going to sit around here yakking about poems? Or are we going to hunt eggs? Ready? Set, go! Easter egg hunt, Easter egg hunt. You can't be slow on an Easter egg hunt. See it, snatch it, throw it in your basket. We all fall the color of an Easter egg hunt. Eggs that sparkle, glitter, and shine. You can have yours, but don't touch mine. Yummy, gooey, chocolatey treats. I want my eggs filled with sweets. Easter egg hunt, Easter egg hunt. I'll find all the Easter eggs. What was mine? What was mine? Can't be slow on No fair. Oh, oh, where are your eggs, Chief? They're cheating. Every time I see an egg, they snatch it before I can grab it. Oh, easy, champ. You'll get them next year. You don't understand how much Easter egg hunting means to me. When I was younger, Mother Devlin wouldn't let me hunt Easter eggs. She said it was too dangerous. Dangerous? I was an only lad. I was oh so very young. I wanted some candies to place on my tongue. I cried to Mama, it's me, your boy, Devlin. You have six other kids. I am number seven. Seven? Mama, Easter is here, and I must have some eggs. She cried, no, my child, you'll break both of your legs. Both legs you will break. Fibula, Fima Patella, that's me. Say no to the eggs. Please stop with your plea. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I had no idea. Ooh, look <gasps> over there. What? Oh, someone wrote on these? They're ruined. No, no, those must be the Easter story eggs the professor was talking about. <laughs> the special eggs? I found them. And I found them all by myself. And without even breaking one leg. I've got to find more. More eggs. More eggs. More eggs. But where can we find more eggs? Yes. Where? Eggs. More? Find? What's going on? 
Hello, my little oblong friend. Hey, get in my basket! What do we do? I don't know. Ooh, I could bake a ham. Ah! Help, help! Come here, you! Maybe we should call the heroic Super Gus! Who? Super Gus. Protector of the powerless. Defender of the dainty. And pork peddler to the portly. Then I'll make my ham. I love looking at the sky for no reason whatsoever. Oh, wow, look at that. That cloud looks like a kangaroo kissing an enchilada. The Hoot Seminole! Super Gus to the rescue! Up, up, and upward! You're mine now! Ew! What are you doing? I am weakening you! Can you feel it? By breathing on me? Yes! By converting oxygen into carbon dioxide! Had enough? Well, no, it's hot and annoying. And you could use a breath mint. Oh. <laughs> Halitosis! Now to turn my attention back to... He's gone! Mother? I'm mad at you, young man. What did I tell you about Easter egg hunting? Aw, oh, not in front of the guys. Oh! oh, what happened? My leg. I think it's broken. What did I tell you? <gasps> ah! Is this your mother, Devlin? Why, yes. Yes, I am. And who might you be? I'm Gail. I know you. Have we met? Mm, I don't think so. <gasps> you used to deliver a meal! My leg! Oh, you remember me? I haven't delivered the mail in forever! <laughs> you were the best mailman we ever had. What brings you back to this part of town? My leg is broken! Welcome back, class. Did you find all the eggs? Well, not all of them. Did you at least find the Easter story eggs? Not exactly. We did find a lot with candy in them. Well, did you discover three ways the egg reminds us of Easter? Um, 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 um. All right, Alistair. You think you're pretty funny, huh? Devlin, what happened to your leg? Never you mind. You found the Easter story eggs. Yahoo! What are you kids so happy about? There's not one piece of candy in the entire basket! Easter's not about candy. What? Easter is the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus. Look at this. Tell me what's inside. Mmm, cotton candy. Ugh, tastes like perfume! It is perfume, a cotton ball dipped in perfume, to be exact. It represents how Mary washed Jesus' feet with expensive perfume. What's in number two? Coins! Now you're talking. I can use them to buy some candy. No, no. According to Matthew 26, 14 through 15, the coins represent the money Judas was paid to betray Jesus. You see, each egg helps tell the Easter story. What about these three things? A purple cloth to represent royalty, a crown of thorns, symbolizing the one soldiers put on Jesus' head, and a tiny whip to stand for the whip that was used on Jesus. What's in number six? Number six is a very special egg. Inside is a cross, which is the first way an egg reminds us of Easter. Jesus had to carry his own cross. The one he was crucified on? Yes, indeed. What about these items? A nail, a dye, a toothpick, a piece of cloth? The nail is a symbol that Jesus was nailed to the cross. 
Does the die represent the soldiers gambling to see who would get Jesus' clothes? It certainly does, Egbert. And I'll bet the toothpick represents the spear, the one the soldiers used to pierce Jesus' side. Oh, how rude. And what does the piece of cloth stand for, Devlin? Um, a tablecloth for all the Easter candy? Oh, I know, I know! Me! Professor over here! Me, 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 me! Gus? It stands for the clean linen Jesus' body was wrapped in when he was placed in the tomb. Exactly. Finally! You know what that is, Devlin? I sure do! Rock candy! Wait! <laughs> ah! My beak! What's the big idea? It's not rock candy. It represents the stone that was placed in front of Jesus' tomb to seal it. Now he tells me. What is this? Then clear? Wait, that's it. Devlin got it. I did? I, I mean, of course I did. The twelfth egg is empty because it represents Jesus' tomb. Jesus rose from the dead three days later, leaving the tomb empty. That's right, Yoko. Matthew 28, 5 through 6 tells us, The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Well, then why do all the other eggs have candy in them? Mostly because the candy corporations are looking to profit by exploiting the addictiveness of sugar to young children. And because it's delicious. But I like to think of it as a reminder of the sweet grace and mercy of Christ and the sacrifice he made on our behalf. I'll eat to that. <laughs> Mr. Devlin? What? You can have some of my candy. Really? You, you would share with me? I like to share, too. Me, too. Thank you, children. You're all very generous. What about you, Hootie? Hootie, would you like to share some of your candy with Devlin? Nope. Come on, guys. I'm totally joking. Of course you can have some candy, Mr. Devlin. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Most of the candy reminds us of the sweetness of God's grace. But I also put a few super hot Carolina Reaper fire pops in there to remind us of the fiery option Jesus saved us from. I hope that message came through. <sighs> Loud and clear. Uh. Recap! Next time when you see an egg, remember Easter. A time where we celebrate the fact that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He was buried for three days. And on the third day, he rose from the grave. And never forget, God loves you and God loves me. He gives life to all we see. Thanks for the help, you guys. Did you hear me calling for help? Do you have anything to say? Happy Easter, brother. What is this? Happy Easter, everyone! Thunderstone Entertainment.